Hello and welcome to the debut episode of Ghoulish. I am Max Booth, a host, and today I have Brian Keane as a guest host. And today we will be discussing tips and advice on how to interview creative types. Brian, Wait. Thank you. what? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, hi. Hi, hi everyone. Brian Keane here. Um, we're going to be discussing what? Well, you know, for the past two years, I've been doing a, a Stephen Keane podcast. I talk about the stuff Stephen Keane writes. We make fun of right. it a bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A, well, a I decided, fan yeah, a fan podcast. Well, I decided I'm done with these fan podcasts. These fan casts is what the kids call them these days. And I decided, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to do what you do, Brian. I'm going to interview guests. I'm going to I'm going to get deep and personal. I'm going to find what makes them tick. That's not at all what I thought this was, Max. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, as you said, I mean, you look, I I love I love your shit. I love your podcasts. Uh you Stephen as a fellow Stephen King fan, uh and as someone who is Stephen King's peer, I I thought you're your fan podcast based on his work was outstanding. And, uh, you know, you, you, you call this new show ghoulish. I thought this was going to be about my novel ghoul what novel? and the movie and, and, you know, the whole, the whole media thing that sprang out of it. Ghoul. Yeah. Ghoul. What are you talking about? It got turned into a movie. Nolan Gould from, you know, modern family and, uh, you know, the old guy that looks like Wilford Brimley and, and, the lady from Last Starfighter. Come on, you've Brian, you've lost me. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about. I I know you wrote one book, and that was called uh, Pressure, right? It was the uh, you know the book with all the teeth in it. It just came out. You self published it. Pressure. You're thinking of pressure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, that book. Yeah. Yeah. You wrote a second book. You say. <laughs> I've written fifty two, Max. Whoa. How how do you have time to do this while also uh, doing a weekly podcast? Well, I, I don't. I, I pick and choose my projects very carefully, which is is why I thought I'd done my due diligence before I agreed to do this show. Well, you uh, so, <laughs> less so, you know, there's there's tip number one. Um, if you're going to if you're going to interview someone on your show, you, you research them first. You you learn a little bit about them. I thought the fun of it was you just pick a name at random and then you get to know them. Well, you know? yeah, I mean, yeah, that, yeah. that can't be fun, but, you know, that can also lead to you getting, you know, Ted Bundy. Um, but that's impossible. He's dead, Brian. Well, Ted Bundy's illegitimate child then. Oh, uh, Ken? Ken Bundy? Ken. Yeah. It, so I, I think I see the uh, problem here. I'm looking at the email I sent you, and goddamn, man, autocorrect that tricky bastard. This is what I meant to send you. Brian, would you like to come on my new podcast, Ghoulish, where I interview creative types about the genre? However, my fucking phone, this is what I actually sent you. Brian, would you like to come on my podcast, Ghoulish, which is a fan podcast for the novel Ghoul? <sighs> That's the impression I was under. Look, I, yeah. you know, despite what the internet and the media will tell you, I, I'm not an asshole. I, I'm not mad at you. If okay. anything, this falls on my assistant, uh, film director Mike Lombardo. He screens on my email for me. Yeah. And, you know, he didn't think to follow up. He just he assumed that what you sent was what it was. And uh, I, I will deal with him later off the air. But I'm here. I've set aside a half an hour for you. Okay. Why, don't, why don't we do this? Why don't we salvage this? We'll figure it out. OK, I, I apologize for the confusion. We'll, we'll, we'll just go on and we'll pretend this didn't happen. Okay. Um, and, and, you know, maybe later, uh, you know, you go on Amazon, you buy Ghoul. I, I, don't, buy I don't see that happening, but OK. <laughs> maybe you watch the movie. Yeah. It's available mm, streaming. It's on DVD. Likely. Maybe you listen to the soundtrack on Spotify. It's really good. I had nothing to do with it. Listen, Brian, when I do a podcast, I don't want my guests to promote anything. So you'll get in out of hand immediately. All right. So let's get, All right. Let's continue. Well, there you there, That's lesson number two. Okay. Always maintain control. Don't let your guest overtake the show. Now, when you've done a your podcast, has uh, the guest ever gotten out of hand and uh, gotten away from you? Actually, yeah. Um, it's funny you should mention that. I just last weekend, mm -hmm. I was in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and uh, I interviewed author Jonathan Jans. Um, now, my show is. Next week will be our 220th episode, five years of doing this. 
Uh, I have always maintained control. Uh, Jans is the first guest I've had on the show who managed to flip the script, so to speak. About halfway through, he ends up interviewing me, and I didn't realize it until about 20 minutes of, of him asking me questions and me answering. Oh, shit, you uh, got jansed. I got jansed. I, I think that should be a, that should be a, a verb. It to absolutely is. Somebody. Yeah, you got jansed. Yeah. Wow. So you've done 200 episodes and five yields. That math doesn't make any sense to me. Two, two, 220 episodes in five years. Okay, but those, how many days in a yield? Like what, 500? I don't know. I, I, uh, yeah. I don't, I'm a writer, man. I don't know math. So, I mean, how often are you doing this podcast? Once a day, right? That's how you do a once, podcast? Once a week. Once a week. Oh, oh man. Okay. I mean, you could you could do once a day if you're, I don't know, Joe Rogan, but you're not Joe Rogan. I also so, can't get a hold of Alex Jones, which is odd. Well, there you go. Okay. You know, I was actually, I was actually invited to be on the Alex Jones show years and years ago. Oh, True yeah? story. I turned him down. Um. And, and, you know, I, I do enjoy a really good conspiracy theory. Um, I hate that modern day conspiracy theory culture has become so right wing centric. Um, it really it really bothers me. I wish we could get back to just, you know, Fox Mulder looking for UFOs. But, uh, yeah, they, they had asked me to come on and I, I turned them down because even back then, uh, you know, the, the guy, he was just shilling his his fucking diet vitamins every week. His you know, brain pills. Yeah, and you know who wants to who wants to promote that? Well, you made a good decision. I'm glad you yeah. did not uh, decline my invitation, even though some confusion was present. You know, you make good decisions in this career, and and you make poor decisions in this career, and and I think the audience can discern which is which. <laughs> yes, I agree. Okay, so I've never interviewed a guest before. I I know that's not obvious from the way I'm doing this interview. So I thought maybe I would just begin questioning you, and then you can stop me when I've made a mistake and give me some tips on how to proceed in the future. Sound good? All right. That's okay. fair. Great. That's fair. <sighs> Let me think of some questions. Wait, 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 wait. You don't have your questions prepared? No, that would be crazy. I don't have that kind of time. <sighs> what? No, nothing. Proceed. Okay. I, I, you know, something I found that's helpful. I again, you know, maybe I'm speaking from a place of privilege, but uh, you know, a little bit of preparation, a little bit of prep work. Have a have a have an idea of where you want the interview to go. You know, what you might start out with. Okay. Uh, these, these are things you might try in the future. I will. Um, I will consider it, but I don't know if I'm going to use it. But we'll see. Thanks. Uh, Okay, so Brian, do you do you like music? I do. Okay, cool. Me too, man. Uh, hmm. What? Uh, hmm. Okay, so when I interview a guest, this is what I want to do. The whole, I mean, when anyone interviews a guest, anyone who writes, the main goal is to get them to eventually read like a manuscript they've been looking on, right? Like at the end of this oh. episode, I think you will uh, read my latest novel and maybe recommend it to a pre a publisher. No. What? No. I, I I just told you. I I have to pick and choose. I don't have time to do all this. Well, that's rude. It's rude, but it's it's uh it's the nature of the beast, kiddo. Oh man. Well, why do you interview guests? Because I'm interested. I'm interested in this genre. I'm interested in its history, its past, its future, where it's going. And I'm interested in the people that, that create and shape it. And not just them, but fans from from other walks. Like uh, we had Jeff Tate of Queensryche mm -hmm. on the show, uh, you know, because he's a fan of the genre. Uh, you know, it, it's not so that Jeff Tate can produce my Grammy Award winning album. Not yet. Not ever. Oh. Wow, this is. I'm a fan of music. That doesn't mean I can do music. Yeah, we we know you like music, Brian. We already established this. You're, uh, well, but my point is, you're a fan of writers, but that doesn't mean you can write, Max. Whoa, I think it does. I mean, I love movies, and that means I can make movies. I mean, I have a cell phone. But you 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 don't know that yet. Not until not until somebody of note, you know, reads it or watches it. Well, maybe I get them on my podcast. 
and then they have to produce it. Let me know how that works out for you. Okay, thank you, Brian. I I appreciate it. Uh, so enough chit chat. Do you like movies? I I like movies as much as I like music. Oh, that's great, man. I'm glad to hear it. Okay, so at what point when I'm interviewing someone do I bring up who they voted for? When who they what? When do I bring up politics? Um, well, I mean, that depends on your guest. I, you know, I, I very, I tend to avoid discussing politics on social media, but if somebody asks, I'm willing to give my opinion. Um, you know, if you have, I don't know, Joe Hill or Christopher Golden on your show, you might find that they, they'll talk about nothing but politics. And I say that with love. They're both dear friends. Joe who? They talk about politics 24 seven. Um, you may get. I don't know, Ronald Kelly or uh, Stephen Kozanowski, who never mm. talk politics. I see. Good to know. Okay. I won't begin with that question then. Yeah. I, I would save that as a follow-up. Okay. Now, uh, on the show that you produce, Brian, uh, when you get to like the 10-minute milk of the podcast, how do you proceed from then? Because, I mean, I've already run out of questions. What do you, what do, you do? Usually by then, we'll see uh, again, you know, Max, I can't stress enough. This is why you, you got to prep beforehand. But usually by the 10 minute mark, I'm I'm pissing into a Gatorade bottle. You know, I, I drink a lot of coffee, a lot of tea. You know, you want to stay hydrated when you're yeah. doing this. So you have 10 minutes. And I, I'm 51. So, you know, I, I my prostate prostate is uh, the size of football at this point. So I'm yeah. 10 minute mark. I'm peeing into a, a Gatorade bottle. Oh, man. Do you not own a toilet? I do, but it's not out in the studio with me. Uh, that's where we're recording right now. In fact, in fact, oh. as as we're recording, I, uh, right now I'm gonna I'm gonna. I don't know if your microphone picked that up. That's my zipper. I'm I'm gonna pee in this bottle right now. Okay, I'll give you uh, five seconds of silence, and we will just leave this in. Appreciate it. Do you sing as you pee? I don't. I find that as I get older, I have to really focus and concentrate. So if you could just not talk okay. for a moment, you see. On my show, I have, you know, uh, Mary San Giovanni or Dave Thomas or Matt Willis and my co host This is when they would fill it with their inane banter. Gotcha. Um, if you cut that part out, I don't want them knowing that I think their banter is inane. But um, all right, there. I'm done. Thanks. Okay. Now, what do you do with the bottle? Do you just leave it in no. front of you? Do you throw I'm it across the room? On, I, I'm sitting it on the floor now. And, and when you and I are done here, um, I will... I will, you know, carry it in the carry it in the house and, and dump it in the toilet. And and again, you're gonna cut this. I don't need, you know, the the actual listening audience know I'm peeing in bottles and and that uh, I find my co-hosts on the show annoying. Well, that brings particularly me... Mary because I live yeah. with her and you know, she I I suspect she's already trying to poison me with like these herbal teas and shit that she makes for me. Oh my god! So, do you want me to call well, somebody? She, I mean, she says they're for stamina. You know, because I'm 51, you know, I, I I don't have the libido of a 21 year old anymore, but I I don't know. Anyway, yeah, cut all the cut all this out. But that, let's, that brings right, me let's, to my next question. What do you mean by cut this out? Uh, uh, all right. Hit the pause button. Uh, OK, there. Yeah, there. You've hit it, right? Y- yes. Go ahead. OK. All right. So let's now let's pretend that that. Uh, you'll you'll want to go back in and edit. So, so here we are. We'll 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 pick right back up with your next question. Go ahead. Okay, Brian. Now, what do you mean by cut it out? Cut it out, uh, Max. I, I mean, uh, you know, cut it out with uh, with not preparing for your guest, with not preparing for your interview. Man, you will just obsessed with this. Well, you know, I think it's important. I, you you had me on to. To advise you and the listeners about this. And I, I, I can't stress enough. That's one of the most important parts of the process. Okay. Now, when you uh, do a podcast, what do you do wrong that I can approve on? What do I do wrong? Yeah, yeah. What mistakes do you often made make that I obviously will not make? I'm Brian fucking Keen. I don't make mistakes. Oh. I, well, I mean, you know, agreeing to this. <laughs> might have been a mistake, but no, I tease. I, I kid. I kid. In my case, 
you know, I, I there, there's been some technical mistakes over the years. Uh, we once recorded an interview with David Nile Wilson, mm-hmm. uh, who, from a horror historian's perspective, that guy has one of the most fascinating stories in our genre. And uh, it was a it was a great interview, about two and a half hours. And uh, the mistake I made is that I trusted my sound engineer, Dave Thomas, to actually record the interview. And we found out afterward that he hadn't. Uh, you know, a mistake I made is, uh, you know, letting my girlfriend be on the show. You know, that that was a mistake. Yeah, I mean, these are things you could probably avoid. So I want to bring up a, a different mistake you've made, which is the fact that I have not been on uh, your podcast yet, and I'm quite offended well, don't don't be offended. I look. I'd love to have everybody on my podcast. Yeah. Um, part of it is, you know, that we we live in an era where a lot of our icons of the genre are getting up there in years, and they're not going to be with us forever. And you know, it's important to me that we capture their stories. Um, you know, for example, Jack Ketchum. Mm-hmm. You know, I was I was I was grateful. Have him. We knew he was sick. You know, I knew he, he didn't, hadn't made it public, but I knew he was sick. And, and I, I was grateful to sit down with him in a room, just the two of us, and uh, really just go through his, you know, his entire his entire history in this business. Um, that was important to me. And, you know, it, it's also equally important to me to to get the up and comers, uh, you know, authors who readers may not have heard of, but they will, uh, you know, like the Sisters of Slaughter. And the aforementioned Stephen Kozanowski, um, you know, so so when you get to one of those points, Max, I'm sure I'll be happy to have you on. Do you have any tips to uh, getting to one of these points? What do I have to do? Well, I mean, what do you what do you want to do? Do you want to make movies? Do you want to do a <sighs> podcast? Do you want to write books? I want to do a podcast so successful that I eventually drive you out of business you listen to this podcast and you go man why am i even trying this max booth he has ghoulish that's the only podcast that anyone should be making and you just you just shut down and you give up and then it's just me baby i'm on top all right well that's that's a noble goal yeah i can respect that goal i mean that that sounds like me 20 years ago um the first thing you would have to do um You'd have to find a way to take down uh, Jesse over at Dead Man's Tome um, because Dead Man's Tome, they are they are doing a, a lot of things that so that I don't have to do them on my podcast anymore. I, I find that I'm letting them report on the controversies in our business more often than I'm reporting on them. So the first thing you'd want to do is, is figure out a way to take down Jesse and uh, his co-host Becky and, and the rest of their cast. OK, I'll add them to my list. <laughs> what is this list you're making? Is this like a list of guests you're going to have on your show? No, a list of podcasts. I'm going to get shut down somehow. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the second thing I would recommend is is actually learn how to do a podcast. Um, I think this is third, going well. Well, yeah. let's, let's test that theory. Have you remembered to hit the record button? What do you mean? The record button. I have the microphone in front of me. Okay. Is it is it on? Uh, I mean, it's, I'm talking into it. Okay. Yeah. Um, and, and is, is the microphone plugged into your computer? It's plugged into a computer, but I mean, not mine. Oh, yeah. well, you know, see, these are things you want to check beforehand. Um, you know, you might consider, because if you want to be the host, you're going to be occupied with being the host and. It can be distracting to check microphone levels and equipment. So you might consider getting yourself a sound engineer. Um, I could sell you Dave for cheap. How much? Or, you know, uh, 10 bucks. Do you accept Bitcoin? I, I do not accept Bitcoin. Okay. I'm old school. My, um, my second it, question would have been, what is Bitcoin? I, I don't know either because, again, I'm old school. I, I hear people talk about it. Uh, my 11 year old says it's the next big thing, but I, I don't I don't know much about it. Isn't it? It's like a it's like a Minecraft something, right? Bitcoin, you like pay for skins in Minecraft or something. Holy like shit, skins! Skins, yeah, you can buy skins in like Minecraft. Suits of flesh. Yeah. Oh my Minecraft, god. Minecraft, Fortnite, all all the games these kids are playing. That's the hot thing. They buy skin. I need to get on this game. 
I, I, I think time is ripe for a, a Texas Chainsaw remake. I mean, this is obviously what the what Generation Z is into, uh, wearing other skins. Fucking eight bit Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah, I'm, I'm exactly. game. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Uh, you will give me advice on how to continue making a great podcast. You're off to a great start, Max. Thank you. That's all I. That's all I wanted. And I'm going to be honest with you. This isn't. I mean. I, I was just lonely today, and I thought maybe Brian Keene would like to talk to me a bit. I, this isn't going to be a podcast. I don't have a microphone. I'm just shouting into a cup. I don't know how <laughs> you'll picking up my voice, but I mean. But you you just said you had a microphone. Yeah, but, but Brian, but the, the thing you have you to know. Cup? I meant cup. I mean, what's the difference? Do you have anything phallic in front of your mouth right now? I mean, I have a cup of coffee. A cup of coffee. Well, I have a cup. See, now. Now you have found common ground with your guest because I too have a cup of coffee. Uh, and in fact, the mug is emblazoned with the Har Show with Brian Keene logo. Um, and then it, it has our network's address, which is projectentertainmentnetwork.com. That's projectentertainmentnetwork.com. Um, I, I, will, I will take a, a celebratory sip of coffee in that we found this shared experience. Hang on one second. Okay, let's drink it loud. <laughs> There. <laughs> That's good stuff. How do you how do you drink that coffee? Is it how black? do I drink the yeah. coffee with uh, with my mouth? Well, that's odd. You don't just yeah, no, you don't just I'm tip black. the cup so it goes across uh, your crotch. Uh, only only when I'm driving. <laughs> yeah, well, obviously. Okay. Okay, Brian. So, last question: What have you been reading lately? Uh, what have I been reading lately? Um, I just finished Ronald Kelly's uh, new short story collection, which is fantastic. Uh, I just reread uh, The Armageddon Chord by Jeremy Wagner because I had him as a guest on my show last week. And I wanted, again, I wanted to do some preparation beforehand. Um, and uh, after we're done here, uh, I'm going to be reading a whole bunch of Western novels. Uh, but it's not for pleasure. Oh, well, I mean, it is for pleasure. I enjoy a good Western, but it's also for, for research. Ooh, I assume you can't say anything else about that. No, I can, I can say things about it. I, I'm going to be doing, uh, fingers crossed. I, I'm going to be doing a series of Western novels, straight Westerns, no horror elements, uh, you know, no fantasy elements, just straight up Westerns. In addition to, you know, continuing to write horror and fantasy and, and podcasts and you know political commentary and all the other wonderful things that that i do in, in my empire i'm gonna add westerns to it well that's awesome i'm excited to uh finally read something you've written i mean yeah. I'm, I'm still shocked that you uh, have a bunch of books out this was not like, something i knew about well all you need to do go to briankeen.com k-e-e-n-e mm -hmm. uh, brian with an i and uh you know you there's a list of 52 books max there's got to be something there you'll like and maybe you'll even do an actual fan podcast about one maybe have you ever written a novel about like zombies maybe more than one yeah wow okay cool <laughs> uh, how, uh you already gave the social media plug so i mean that should be it right how, how do you I, end, how do you end the podcast i i end it with reminding people where they can find my podcast where they can listen to it i think that's important um let's say Let's say iTunes decides that they don't want to have your podcast anymore. You need to have your listening audience trained to remember that there's other places they can go listen to it. That happened to us in our our second year. Uh, iTunes banned us for four weeks, uh, and then they let us back on. But yeah, so you you want to you want listeners to know where else they can find you. Would you be shocked to find out that I do have a website? What is that website? Give us a plug. www. Dot no, you don't have to say the www, right? It's 2019. Everybody knows www. Okay. It's, no, but that's like that's that's involved. So I mean, if I was reading the whole thing, it would be www. www. You don't have to say www. <laughs> I have to. It's what it says on the the sheet I have in front of me. Okay. Right, okay. What, what's that website, Max? ghoulbookfancast.com oh fuck i just realized a big mistake i've made what what's the what 
<laughs> I think I know what it is. How so, did you explain it to me? I uh, may have typed in when I when I bought the the website domain. It may just be Ghoul by Brian Keen Fancast dot com. Okay, well maybe we can maybe we can scrap this interview and re-record a new one all about the book. I don't well, know. I don't you know just, how to you do can that. pretend you've read the book. I'll lead you. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Lead me. Well, you have to you have to do the introduction. It's your it's oh, your fuck podcast. fuck. Okay, uh, welcome to the the, um, the Brian Kane fan podcast about Ghoul, written by Brian Kane with an I, not a Y. This is a podcast where we talk about a book named Ghoul. Uh, I'm Max Booth. Welcome, Brian. Thanks, Max. Thanks for having me on. I I, I am you know in my career I've I've had politicians and rock musicians and rappers and even a few porn stars who have celebrated my books. Um, and that's always a good feeling, but the fact that, that ghoul touched you in such a way that you have decided to create a podcast dedicated to it and its mythos, I'll tell you, I am deeply honored and it is my pleasure to be here with you today. Okay, Brian, enough chit chat. I have one question. Do you like, do you like music? You know, it's funny. I was just on another podcast, and uh, I, I I had that same question. I do. I'm a fan of music. Well, I mean, we've run out of time now. I guess we will pick up uh, next week on the, the, the Brian Keene fan cast of Ghoul by Brian Keene, the podcast. Don't count on it. I, I don't know how they count anyway, man. So <laughs> thank you for doing this, and uh, we'll see you next week, Brian. Thank you. Where's Lombardo? Thank you for listening to Ghoulish with me, Max Booth. If you want to email us, you can send a message to ghoulishpod at gmail.com. You can tweet at us at ghoulishpod. We have a website, which is ghoulishpod.com. We have a Patreon account. We'll be awful subscriptions to all magazine, Dark Moon Digest. We have all types of nice goodies on that Patreon account. We recently began offering a monthly creative writing prompt. Basically, we give you an idea, you write it, you send it to us, and we uh, we go through it, we tell you what's great, we tell you what's not so great, and we give you some ideas on how to improve as a, uh, you know, as someone who writes. So if that is you, or well, if you just want to read a groovy magazine, why don't you head on over to patreon.com slash pmm publishing. Uh, please subscribe to the show on iTunes and all those other places. And also, please leave a review on those same places. And, uh, don't forget to live spooky. Die spooky. <laughs>